Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we're gonna to be doing a first impression of a fragrance that has been hyped so, so, so much. Probably the most hyped fragrance of this year. You do not know the lengths that I had to go to in order to get a bottle of this. I had to know a guy, the new guy, the new guy, the new another guy to get this thing all the way from Europe because it is not yet available in the United States. And will it ever be available in the United States? We don't even know for sure, but I wanna give you guys my first impression. So I got my package here, let's open it up. And of course, the fragrance I'm talking about today is Jean Paul Gaultier's Le Mal Elixir. Yes, everyone knows about this. It's been hyped over and over and over. Everyone's been talking about it that is in Europe or has been able to get their hands on it, but I think it's time to get a woman's opinion on this fragrance, am I right? I've seen a million men reviewing this, but I think I might be the first woman in America that got her hands on a bottle of this. So it's all that hard to detective work that paid off. Of course, typical packaging, the tin can. I have seriously read reviews of people that say that they use a can opener to open this and it's just like, what? <laughs> of course, it comes out on the bottom here. This knew that was gonna happen, so wow. I'm sure you guys have seen it by now. It's a really cool design and from the looks of it, I don't know if it's just the color of the glass, but the juice looks pretty dark. Automatically, that already gives me some sort of idea that it's going to be a darker fragrance, like a darker, warmer scent. Definitely the coolest bottle from any of the Jean Paul Gaultier fragrances, I would say, but definitely in the Le Mal line, I think this is the best bottle by far. But the ultimate question is, do we need another elixir? How many elixirs have been released this year? Was this really necessary? Is it just going to be another redundant flaker in the Le Mal line? Let's spray it and find out. I'm kind of nervous about this. Cool, nice atomizer. Oh man, come on. This is what people have been hyping about. This is the scent that I've seen how many reviewers just drooling over. I don't know about this one. This is, this is seriously a letdown for me, guys. I was expecting something so much better than this. So much better than this. It's just another disappointing flanker. There's really nothing else to say in this video. Wow, I am so let down by this. I was really expecting something that was just gonna blow my mind. I don't really have anything that great to say about this, so I guess that's just the end of the video. Bye. You thought I was being serious though, didn't you? Psych guys, this is pretty good. Honestly, when I read the notes online, I was expecting something similar to Naxos. So if you guys are curious and you haven't already seen 500,000 videos on this fragrance already, the notes in this, we have in the top, we have that kind of Lamal DNA. We have the lavender, we have the mint with a mid of vanilla and benzoin with a base of tobacco, honey and tonka bean. So yeah, when I heard that tobacco honey combo, I was really expecting it to smell something kind of like Naxos, but nah, not really. My honest first impression, and I plan on doing an updated review on this in the future, but first impression off the top, it's not that amazing. It's really not. It's not as bad as I was kind of making it out to be in the beginning of this. I was being a little dramatic, but I don't know. Maybe as it dries down, it might change a little. It doesn't really blow me away. I need to spray this on my skin. That's what I'm gonna do, all right? This first impression is not gonna go in vain. We're gonna spray it on my hand, get the ultimate skin test, because I think this fragrance really needs it. There's definitely like a very gourmand facet to this though. Like there's something very gourmand-esque coming through in this. You definitely get the freshness and the lavender, but something darker in here. It's almost kind of like a the slightest like chocolatey vibe, but not like in a typically chocolate. Like I feel like when you smell like a chocolate patchouli kind of scent, it's just really good. I don't know. I'm not sold on the quality of this so far. I kind of want my hundred dollars back. <laughs> just kidding. Or am I? <laughs> I've heard a lot of other reviews saying that this smells like a lot of other things on the market, and I I didn't want to believe it, but. Uh, I do kind of believe it. That initial blast was just like, this smells like so many other things that released already. But what it's been compared to the most has been Halloween Man X, Armani Code Absolute. I saw like some Mont Blanc Legend Flanker, even compared to One Million Privé, which I do not agree. One Million Privé is like, if you guys know about One Million Privé, please comment below. It is an iconic scent. So sad that it's discontinued. Total banger, niche quality scent. I have a bottle back here and it smells amazing. Yeah, some people I've also heard say that it's kind of similar to, like as it dries down, it gets more similar to the, uh, the Le Mal Le Parfum, which I've smelled that a few times and it just doesn't really do it for me. It's a little too old school. It's really lavender dominant for me, mixed with like 
the slightest chocolatey vibe mixed with mint, like a minty chocolate vanilla with a lot of lavender. I do plan, just so everyone knows, to film a second video comparing this to the Le Parfum and the original Le Mans, see how it stands in the lineup. Also, based off the notes, I wanted to believe that this could be unisex, but yeah, I don't think I would ever wear something like this. I could maybe see it being kind of unisex, kind of like Naxos, like I love to wear Naxos, but I don't know, actually, let me see. I think it's a little masculine. On the skin, it's not musky, but there's like, it's like a very spicy tobacco, green tobacco, kind of like herbaceous tobacco, or like a little earthy that I don't really vibe with that much. And that's another interesting thing. It was just released. We're just coming into summer. Like this is not what a lot of people would typically perceive as a summertime scent, but I have no issue with pushing boundaries on that. It's actually an upcoming video to look forward to is winter beasts to wear in the summer because you guys would actually be surprised how some fragrances that people say are meant for the winter actually work really well in the heat. Sometimes people think that certain notes when they go in the heat, they can become cloying or become even stronger, but I've been actually doing a lot of testing on some of my winter beasts to see how they do in the heat here in Miami. I have actually been pretty surprised by some of them, how in the heat they get toned down in some aspects. Anyway, that's gonna be a whole separate video. Look forward to that. I'm excited to film that one because I got some bangers in there. But back to Lamal Elixir. It's not bad. There's nothing like off-putting about it. It's a mixture of this lavender, minty, chocolatey, vanilla but the tobaccos are just a little tiny bit just a little tiny bit there maybe it'll come through more as it dries down i've heard other people say that as the fragrance dries down it kind of gets more similar to the le parfum which yeah, i don't know so i'm gonna keep wearing this on my skin for the next couple days i'm gonna be testing the longevity projection everything the performance of this thing because that's another thing people have been raving about is the performance of this do i believe it I don't know. I think typically the scent profile is one that will last pretty well. So we'll see how it goes and I will be uploading a second video soon, a side-by-side -side comparison of the original Le Mal with the Le Parfum. And maybe even I'll find some other kind of like honey scents. Maybe I'll compare it to Naxxus as well just to see kind of how it stands out. So yeah, guys. <laughs> I want my money back, god damn it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. The things that I do for you guys, right? Like, this is all for you. I love you guys so much. Once again, thank you so much for 15,000 subscribers. I cannot believe it, but leave a comment below if you have had the chance to try the new Lamal Elixir. I would love to know your thoughts. Are you interested in trying it? Are you excited and anxious about it coming to America? We'll see one day if they ever release it in America. Hopefully, maybe by the fall, they'll have it available in some stores, so, because it's not that easy to find. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to give this video a like and to leave a comment below what you think about the new Lamal Elixir, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.